Hello everyone, welcome to week 21 of what I eat in a week. So first thing first, I have my beef rice noodle. I am adding the soy sauce. I don't know what kind of soy sauce this is, but this is definitely lighter and less salty. Um, so it's not the Kikkoman soy sauce, but this is so good. Um, if I don't have this once a week, I, I don't know what to do. Um, and then I bought this. Um, it's like a Korean corn dog, and I say it's a Korean corn dog because the batter is a little bit thicker. Um, they add cheese, or you can add cheese to the corn dog. So that's what I'm pulling over here, the mozzarella cheese. And then it also comes with sausage. The place that I go to have different toppings. The one that I have is cornflake. It's from the Basic, I believe is how you pronounce the name. And this is a hot milk tea from my local bakery. Um, and then my mom made mohinga, which is kind of like a fish based soup with vermicelli noodle, some lotus root, um, and also a hard boiled egg. You can also put fried chickpeas in here as well. Um, and then I, I don't really like mohinga that much, so I just had a little portion of it and I'm eating some um, Tostitos uh, chips with the creamy spinach dip. Um, just to give me a little bit more food in my belly. Um, the next day I had a um, matcha maker smoothie. Um, I really like matcha maker because of the antioxidants from the matcha. And in addition to this, I had um, gojo, which literally translates to fried cornstarch. My mom adds egg, shrimp, um, leeks as well. And I just dip it in some sriracha. Um, and then I had chipotle. I had the steak with like rice, beans, um, salsa verde. And in addition to that, I am having some ruffles. I like to eat my burritos with chips. It's kind of like sandwich with chips. Um, and I'm having some pineapple orange, orange juice. And I bought some of these beef jerky at my recent trip to Saratoga. Not so recent anymore. Um, this, I really like the flavors that they had. I think all the flavors that I got were like some spice or whatever. Having some difficulties eating it here, but damn, it's good. Um, I really like the smoked ones because I like kind of chewing on it a lot and being able to like kind of suck out the flavors. <laughs> Um, the hot honey jalapeno was also pretty good. I think my favorite is the peppercorn one. Um, I think peppercorn has a, a nice place in my heart. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really good. I've, I never have tried any of these or the amount of flavors that they had here. So if you're in Saratoga, definitely check out the beef jerky store. And then I'm having more gojo again. Um, and like I said, I'm just dipping in a sriracha. Um, this is, I don't know what part of Burma this is from, um, but I think it's a really interesting dish and definitely not something I see often in a lot of other um, cuisines. And I'm having some chrysanthemum tea. Um, and I got some ramen uh, takeout. This is just the, um, the spicy, um, like pork based ramen um, and I have some just wavy egg noodles um, and the toppings that they included um, is some pork slices, um, seaweed, corn, um, more like seaweed knot and then um, I believe bamboo shoot as well. And I really like the packaging of all this. It was very separated, so when you put everything together, it kind of feels like you're eating fresh ramen. As fresh as it can be from the store. And then I also got some fried squid, um, and I'm just drizzling some lemon in it. I really like the fried squid. I think if I got it while it was in the store, it'd definitely be more crispy. When I got it, it became more soggy because of the condensation, um, but it was still really chewy, really good. Um, I, I would say this is kind of like, it's not ramen that I'm like to die for ramen or anything. I would feel like this is just really simple ramen. My favorite ramen spot in New York City is Total Ramen and I don't think they deliver to Brooklyn. Um, 
or the part where I'm at so I just tried this local ramen spot near me to deliver for me um, and it's pretty good it you know fulfills the ramen need um, the next day I wanted to wake myself up a little bit so I'm just having some um, Osolak green tea and here I'm having some sour leaf with bamboo shoe I like mixing this together with my rice and kind of making this like like kind of concoction and then I also had a um, a a fried egg don't know why it took me a while to say that um, and I like my fried egg with the yolk runny a little bit and I also had some this is kind of like a uh, fried fish um, the darker one is just I think a different kind of fish than the lighter one uh, the next day I ordered um, two different kinds of ramen actually from the spot the other day I had the uh, spicy pork based ramen this one is the curry based ramen um, I actually really wanted to try the the curry based ramen with um, like katsu I thought that like donkatsu I thought that would be really good um, but I didn't want to eat curry that night nice specifically so I'm probably gonna try to get that another day um, I still had some squid left over so I'm eating some of that and as dessert my mom made this jelly um, the co coconuts on the bottom the top is kind of like a um, green grass jelly kind of flavor so that's the dessert that I had um, and that's all the meals that I had for that week I hope you liked the video if you did remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe watch other videos uh, from me and I will see you all in another one bye